pneumonic infections affect 17 million people annually in the United States and approximately 550,000 people die as a result of their chronic infections. If you're suffering from a chronic wound and feel like it's never going to heal, today we have great news. A breakthrough wound gel that not only treats the surface of the wound, but goes deeper to solve the problem. Joining me virtually is Dr. Matthew Rigalski, a podiatrist in New Jersey. Doctor, I know a little bit about chronic wounds because my stepfather suffers from them. He has neuropathy, which affects his ability to heal his wounds. Why is that? Well, neuropathy in general is the genesis of the ulceration at a diabetic because they can't feel pain, temperature. So if they get a blister, if they get a cut on their foot, if they have a very painful callus, you and I would say, wow, that hurts the bottom of my foot. I better get it looked at. They can't feel that. So it just progresses under pressure and it leads to the rupturing of this callus, ulceration, or remember the diabetics do are, and are immunocompromised, so their ability to fight infection and their ability to heal is slowed. Doctor, I was reading here that there are other factors that affect wounds from healing. For example, poor circulation, age, repeated trauma, obesity, smoking, alcohol abuse, and diabetes. Diabetes, there's 90 million pre-diabetics in this country, 35 million diabetics that have it, 1.2 million diabetic foot ulcers. And diabetic foot ulcers in general carry a 47% mortality rate. Compare that to the COVID epidemic, which is only 1.8%. And last year we spent $720 billion in the treatment of diabetes and its related complications. So the infection that you see when we talk about a chronic ulceration has a chronic infection in it is the number one reason diabetics are admitted to the hospital for their foot ulcer, no other reason. Doctor, you have some pictures that I wanna share with our viewers that help us understand why these wounds don't heal. I do wanna mention that some of these pictures are a bit graphic. Well, when you look at all that slimy, sluffy stuff that we talk about, the, the biofilm is this big, protective, sugary, slimy cloud that goes around and acts as a barrier, uh, preventing your immune system from getting in, antibiotics, topically, orally, it protects the bacteria so that they can thrive underneath that and digest your tissue and creating this kind of chronic inflammation and this chronic odor and smell and drainage. That's why you see all that yellowish gunky slough that's in there. That's the consequence of the biofilm inflammation. Doctor, I'd like to turn to a patient of yours. His name is Charlie. He's been suffering with wounds for many, many years. Let's hear his story. I've been having issues for about 15 years, but um, it got pretty bad about five years ago. I had some bone problems in my right foot and I was walking with my foot turned over to the right and it created a callus, which then turned into a wound. It was literally impossible to cure. We did the typical stuff. Um, you know, we, we, it was all wrapped. It was, uh, we were using various antibiotic creams. We were using um, uh, some other products that uh, helped dry the wound out. And it would, it would help a little bit, but it never really got good. My profession prior to having problems is I'm a captain on private yachts. And of course, on a, on a yacht, I was running all over the place and I pretty much had to give up doing some uh, private jobs. Walking was, um, was a, a huge challenge. I feel like I was in a little bit of a state of depression. I, I had to give up a lot of things that I, I could do before then and I couldn't do now. Or, you know, it, people don't realize that when you don't have your feet, it's, uh, it's a big issue. Doctor, there are so many people like Charlie suffering like this. Is there another option that is more successful in healing these wounds? Well, what we're talking about today is called Blastex, which is an amazing product developed that can attack several parts of the biofilm, but even more importantly, is that it prevents it from reforming. Well, Blastex works by ripping apart that big sugary molecule, that big EPS, that big biofilm. It's like artillery. It just blows it and rips it to shreds. And then all the bacteria and fungus in there, the Blastex has another component that goes in, blows those membranes apart, uh, punches holes in them, and they blow apart. But probably the, one of the most important features that is germane to what we're talking about now is that it prevents all those sugar molecules from coming back and sticking together and reforming that biofilm or reforming that protective barrier so that the bacteria, fungus, and virus can thrive. 
I want to show some more pictures, and these are wounds that did not heal, and once Blastex was applied, what they look like after. Well, when you look at those, the beginning pictures, you see a lot of yellowish slough, maybe even some black tissue, gray tissue. All that sequelae, or the result of the biofilm, is all that sloughy, that's dead, damaged tissue, dead cells, bacteria, fungus, all of that's in there. So you put the Blastex on, you have to debride the wound, we take a knife and some other materials, we clean that out, we put Blast on there so that it can saturate, kill everything, but prevent that biofilm from coming back. And a very important feature of Blastex is that it's non-toxic to your tissue. It won't harm good tissue. There's lots of biocides, a lot of anti-effectives out there that can kill biofilm, but they destroy your own tissue in the process. That's the amazing thing about this product, that it's non-toxic to your tissue. Doctor, it looks so easy to apply. How long does it take to start healing? And um, are there any side effects? Now, the side effects, I really haven't seen any, and I've probably applied it on 20,000 patients, but you can get some stinging sensation, and it's only for a few seconds, and it's very transient, it goes right away. Doctor, I wanna go back to Charlie, because he's been using this. Let's see how he's doing. Once I started using the Blastex product, I noticed a considerable difference in how quickly the wounds started to heal. Right now, I have uh, no pain from the wound on my right foot. Um, it's healing well. And uh, the last DNA test showed that there was no MRSA in the wound. So there are two real positive things. No pain, no MRSA. You can't ask for more than that. Now I really hope, now that the wounds are getting better, that sometime in the future, I will be able to get back on the ships, do some cruising around, and maybe even be back on a, a yacht running it. That would be great. Doctor, that is so great to hear. I mean, Charlie looks so much better and so happy. So it's patients like Charlie, and even my own father, who was a diabetic, who suffered from gangrene and infection of his foot, that I had to cut half of that off of. It gets me up every day makes me want to be the best physician that I can and have the best tools in my toolkit so that I can treat these problems because again, when we save their limbs, we save their lives. Doctor, for our viewers who would like more information, where can they go? Sure, please go to blastxgel.com. Tons of information for you there. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, Olga, it's my pleasure. And thanks to Charlie for sharing his personal story. We wish him well. If you'd like more information, please go to our website, thebalancingact.com.